It's the Morning Banana Show with your favorite host, host the one and only Adam Josh. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome to the Morning Banana Show, number 71. My name is Adam Josh, and this is an organic banana. The 71st banana that we're going to eat together on the Morning Banana Show. I have a coffee here, an apple, some cookies if I get even more hungry. And uh, let's chat. I started the Morning Banana Show 71 bananas ago. Some people measure time by moons, not me. I measure time by bananas. It was 71 bananas ago. Uh, yeah, so it's Monday morning, just getting into it. We're at 8, 8.50 here. It's pretty early. I am not a fan of football, so I did not watch the Super Bowl. I know that a lot of you were watching the Super Bowl yesterday. I've heard about it. I watched part of the halftime show, and uh, I know a lot of people are chirping the halftime show on Twitter uh, for the Illuminati and demonic symbolism. I mean, I'm trying to take a more... <coughs> a more forward-thinking approach where you know, the two teams that are playing are owned by women and they had women playing at the halftime show. Did I think it was odd that the halftime show featured children in cages? Yes. Did I think it was odd that there's so many spots in the performance where you know, humanity is pushed to the side, and uh, the queens of Babylon are uh, up front shaking their bums and flicking their tongues. Did I think that was odd? Yes. Did I think it was child appropriate? No. Um, but at the same time, you know, nobody held a gun to your head and forced you to watch it, watch their, their rituals at halftime. <laughs> so, what else can we talk about? I don't really want to talk about Super Bowl because I don't watch football. I didn't watch it yesterday. Yesterday I had um, the owners, the owner of a local um, water purification company over at my house. They're very popular. I don't want to name drop them, but um, I mean I can. But <clears throat> I should probably talk to them. Talk to them first. How about that? But, uh, that was good. Uh, so the mom, mom brought, um, salad, arugula, homegrown stuff, and then the daughter brought apple cider. I made, <clears throat> now listen to this, the, the menu at my house last night, vegan and gluten-free lasagna. We had two trays of it, like, Chana masala for days. Chana masala. Everybody had like seconds. Chana masala. Vegan and gluten free lasagna. Tofu scramble. Just because I thought, well, you know, they might like to try my tofu scramble. And uh, we had something else. The salad. Yeah. And then we had, oh, desserts. Uh, mini strawberry cheesecakes for dessert. And there's a lot of mains, right? And uh, I offered coffee, but apparently they don't drink coffee. Well, I do. Uh, so that was fun. We chatted about quite a lot of different things. Got a bill that I had with them straightened out. I found out that the um, I found out that the, the mom owner.
digs wells in third world countries. And she said she's at her 18th well that they're digging in uh, in a third world country, which I won't mention. But uh, I thought that was pretty cool and something that Desiree and I have been interested in. And I brought up, this is a hot topic for me. Anybody who knows me knows that water quality is a is something that I started educating myself on many bananas ago. And uh, I brought up the coastal regions of Australia and Africa um, not able to desalinate their water. Like the infrastructure isn't set up there. Meanwhile, Israel has been desalinating the Dead Sea and drinking it for years. But somehow the coastal regions of Australia and uh, Africa can't figure out how to desalinate water and it it has always bugged me. Instead, politicians and people who are like trying to look good will send them pallets of water, pallets of bottled water, uh, but never actually educate or teach how to produce a proper desalination uh, plant. Or to give miniature desalination units to families. You could put one in uh, every person's home. And if that sounds like a pipe dream, I'll just have you know that I have a mini desalination unit in my house and I've had one for three or four years. I've never drank anything but distilled water at home for years. So, and same with my children and with Desiree. So it's not rocket science, it's not hard, it's just, um, I feel like sometimes I should just get on a plane and go, like, make desalination plants in third world countries, because when you're surrounded by water, or coastal, coastal areas of places like Australia and Africa, these are two examples, when you're surrounded by water, and going through a drought, You have clearly missed something. Surrounded by water. But going through drought. So, there's some, some something missing here. Um, and I was making the point that, you know, having the same conversation last night and making the point that desalination plants should be all over places that are surrounded by salt water. And, uh, you know, the mom had said, well, a lot of the places that are going through drought are more inland. And, understandably, like, Cape Town is a bit of a hike from the uh, coast. And I know that a lot of the fires that are going around in Australia are not coastal fires. Uh, saying all that, humanity has figured out how to make pipelines for oil that go across countries and nations, but you know, here, here I am thinking that water is a little bit more important than oil. Like if we don't have uh, water, we die. Uh, and if we don't have oil, we can't run our cars. But I, I feel like we should have the water first to live to be able to drive our cars. I mean, that's just me. I think that I'm not, <laughs> if it sounds like, if you're laughing and you think that this is like oversimplified, it's the problem. It really is that simple, and politicians and, and uh, people who want to take your money have made it too complicated. Anyone can desalinate water. I literally teach people how to do it. Let's not talk about that anymore. It gets me angry. Zero Hedge was permanently suspended from Twitter. Financial market website Zero Hedge. Do you think that they were a financial market website? Is that what you thought of them as? I didn't think of them as that. And I read Zero Hedge for years. I know a few people who were happy about that. But anyway, anybody who gets kicked off of Twitter, Twitter is a pl private platform. They don't owe you anything. And the day that I get kicked off Twitter for saying stuff like this, I'll say, well, it was a good good run. I've been on Twitter for 10 years now, and I've said a lot of controversial things and not been kicked off. I've never been banned. I've never been suspended. 
I don't have any alternate accounts, so if I stop tweeting, I'm not coming back to Twitter. I might look on my PC to see what is going on in the world of Twitter, but I don't plan on... <clears throat> I don't plan on uh, censoring myself any more than I already am for Twitter. I'm already not naming names. What else can we talk about? TikTok permanently bans live action over unspecified community guideline violations. I was on TikTok for a couple days and uh, I got off of it. It's owned by China. I don't recommend that anybody is on it. You know, and one really disturbing thing about TikTok is that there's like nurses of TikTok, doctors of TikTok, and police of TikTok. And I'm just throwing it out there that if you're a police officer or in the military and you're on TikTok, all your location data is being shared with a foreign power, China. So you might want to rethink your TikTok account if you're in the military or a police officer. Just saying. TikTok removed a video of live action posted and then informed the group that it was permanently banned Thursday, Rose said in her statement. Live action had published an educational video to our TikTok highlighting <coughs> live saved by content raising awareness of the importance of speaking out on abortion. Okay, so they were like pro-life and TikTok is, you know, the opposite of pro-life because they're from China. One child policy. Maybe. Maybe that's what they're, where they're coming from. We don't need more people. We need a lot less people. Um, I don't really want to talk about the coronavirus any more than to say that I'll give you a link. I'll give you a link right now to talk to someone and follow someone on Twitter that has actually lived through it on boots on the ground. And I'll give you her link as soon as I can find it. I want to say at Plantin Babes on Twitter. But let's find out for sure. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I mean, it's easy to, to... I've heard the whole gamut regarding the coronavirus. I've heard it's totally man-made. <laughs> I've heard all the conspiracies. <clears throat> I know that uh, more people have died in the last week from car accidents than from the coronavirus, I know that. And, um, what else can I say? If it affects you and you die from it, it's pretty serious. So I'm not trying to make light of it. Like if, if your mom wound up with the coronavirus and died, you wouldn't think it's funny, would you? No. So. The person I would recommend to follow, founder on Twitter, the person I would recommend to follow, Plants and Babes, so I'll spell that out for you, P-L-A-N-T-S-N, as in Nancy, B-A-B-E-S, Plants and Babes, only because I recommend to follow her because she was in Wuhan, an American expat living in Wuhan and got out of Wuhan and now is like on the last couple days of quarantine before she's able to go home inside of... Uh, the states. So, a real person, boots on the ground type situation, if you want some um, real information from somebody who's been living through it, I would recommend that person. Plants and babes. Plants and babes. Yeah, what else can we talk about? <clears throat> Let's talk about uh, Elon Musk. What is he up to? Dropping singles. Bringing erectile dysfunction to the masses. <laughs> yeah, I listened to it, and uh, I had it. Yeah, I think my kids could do better than that, but, uh, you know, whatever. No, I can't, I'm not gonna, you can't stop people from releasing music. Or whatever that's called. <laughs> anyway, everybody. 
Follow me on Twitter at AdamJosh.com. Hashtag Morning Banana. Hashtag Adam Josh. Hashtag Adam Josh rocks. Hashtag Weegans. You guys need Reiki? If you think that you need Reiki or know somebody that uh, needs Reiki, go to PureLoveReiki.com. PureLoveReiki.com. Or we all deserve pure love and contact my partner, Desiree, and she can get you some high quality Reiki. If you're listening to this somewhere on the other side of the world and you're thinking, well, I need to see my Reiki practitioner in person. Uh, Desiree does long distance Reiki and she can energetically reach you where you're at without having to be in the same room. So think about that. You can follow her on Twitter at Desiree VZG. D E S I R E E V Z G. Alright, everybody. This has been Morning Banana number 71. 71 bananas. Ba, 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 ba. Take care of yourselves. <laughs>